Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net and this tutorial is on how to dual boot Windows 7 and Windows 8. The first step on creating a dual boot is creating a partition for our Windows 8 installation. To create a partition, just go to My Computer, right click, and then click on Manage. Here, click on Disk Management. Now this is how most computer comes uh, using the full hard drive for the operating system. So we need to create a partition. To create a partition on drive C, just right click and then click on Shrink Volume. When you click on Shrink Volume, it's going to query the hard drive for available uh, shrink space. Here you can select the size of the partition. You can't go beyond the maximum size and remember it's in megs. So I'm going to create a 25 gigs. It would be 25,000 megs. Perfect. And now click on shrink to create the partition. You don't have to create a 25 gigs, you can create a 20 gigs or larger I recommend. Now once you have created the uh, partition, you have to make sure that you that you can identify that partition. You can format and rename, you can leave it as is, however you like in a way that you can identify the partition. Keep that in mind. Now place the Windows 8 in the drive and restart the computer. If you don't have Windows 8, the download link is in the description box below. When you restart, you should be able to see the uh, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Press enter. If you don't see the boot from CD or DVD, I have a link in the description box to help you change the boot sequence in the BIOS to enable you to do that. Now here click on next and then click on install now. Then insert the uh, product key and then click on next. Accept the terms and the license terms and agreement and then click next. Click on custom install. This is why I wanted you to identify the partition so you won't install Windows 8 on the current Windows 7 partition. This is the partition I initially created the 25 gigs at the beginning of this video. If you cannot identify the partition you have created do not proceed. Once you have selected the partition click on next. Now I'm going to fast forward the installation of Windows 8. During the installation, the computer will restart several times. Make sure you don't click enter when it asks you to boot from CD or DVD. Setup is updating the registry. This is normal procedure for installation of Windows 8. Preparing it. The reason why I didn't pause the video is because I wanted you guys to see the entire installation process of Windows 8. Remember to not to press enter when it reboots, like you see here. Now we can choose which operating system to start, Windows 7 or Windows 8 Developer Preview. Now I am going to select Windows 8 because uh, so we can finish the process of installation. I'm still going to fast forward this a little bit.
This is general settings, self-explanatory mostly. Perfect. Now we have Windows 8 on the same computer running Windows 7. So now all we need to do is restart and then choose if we want to uh, start with Windows 7 or Windows 8. When you're done, don't forget to remove the disk from the drive. Now I'm going to restart and boot from Windows 7. Now I can choose which operating system to boot from, Windows 8 or Windows 7. I'm gonna go ahead and boot from the Windows 7 and show you how to remove Windows 8. Now once you boot onto Windows 7, right click Computer and then click on Manage here click on disk management then right click the partition where you have Windows 8 in this case drive E right click and then click on delete volume click yes to the warning then if you want to go back to the full hard drive right click on the drive C and then click on extend volume click next to the wizard make sure you have the partition selected and then click on next and then click finish that's it now when you restart you won't see the uh, choose which operating system to boot from thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you